we're gonna give you what we call a love letter of truth, right? So my name is B Hunter, right? So I have a background in creative design, footwear design, um, product development, and now I've created a business called Power Speaks Louder. So this is designed for you in mind, okay? This is for you. This activity booklet is this uh, a duplicate of a giant version right here that I'm going to describe about identity, words, belief, vision, and action. We can all agree that everyone wants to be successful, correct? Okay, so I believe you probably all have different definitions of success, right? Some definitions may be success maybe if you have a lot of money, right? Or some people think success may be if you own a lot of things or if you are known by many people. But my definition of success is when a product or person performs its purpose. We all want to be successful. And that's why understanding your identity and the pursuit of your identity and who you are is very useful to your purpose because this is who you strive to be. And then that's where everything follows as a result of you being who you are. Your identity is who you were created to be, not who you think you should be. Because if you begin to be who you are, you will automatically, by nature, become successful. Mindset, so this is all how, you're, how you think, your perspective, even your worldview. Your worldview is the lens that you see the world through. I'm just walking you through this so you know the intention behind it. And therefore, this is my purpose. Right? And my, my doing on earth to even translate my thoughts into a visual picture for you guys to use for your future. So low self-esteem, you can have the mindset of that if you have the foundation of lack of support or discouragement. You can probably have negative thoughts and not know why. It produces this effect in your character, which is negativity, jealousy, and envy. This is why we do what we do when we don't have a proper foundation, values, mindset, character, and that produces our actions. On the flip side, which is in contrast, this is wholeness. This is what we strive to be. All of us strive to be whole. Do we want to live our lives in completion, or do we want to be whole? Whole. Whole, right? OK, cool. So even if you don't have the proper foundation that you may think you have, because if you look at a lot of the successful people in the world, they all had their own story, and they all had discouragement as well. Um, a lot of times when you are have greatness in you, the odds are stacked against you, you know? And it's meant to push you into the direction that you need to be because there's a potential inside of you to be unlocked and unleashed. These are two different behaviors. These are two different people that have different foundations. They have different values. They have different characteristics. And therefore, their actions are different. So sometimes if we don't know why we do what we do, and we don't know why people thrive, we don't know why, oh, why is that person so successful? It doesn't mean that they had any better foundation is just they didn't become a victim of their circumstance. So this is the difference between incompletion and wholeness. Now flip to the next page with me. Every single human being has these five questions in their life. And it is one, who am I? Two am I? Where do I come from? Why am I here? What can I do? And where am I going? The money these power dollars that you guys received when you first walked in, right? I believe you guys all got 20s. Um, like I said, in the real world, you show up for work, you get paid. You show up late, you can get fired. At the very end of the class, there's going to be a surprise that is going to make sense why you received this money, okay? So it's in your best interest to participate, ask questions, engage with me. I want to hear from you. Do your assignments. When you fill out that worksheet, you will get paid. And at the very end, there will be a result. Thank you.